Hello there. So in the art world, there are some things that I'm somewhat experienced in and some things that I've really honed my skills on to try and improve myself with. For example, digital art, acrylic painting scenes, impersonating Bob Ross, and watercolour paintings. But for most of us artists, there are some things that we are just not that experienced in at all. For example, animals and character design. People don't seem to realise that just because you're an artist, it doesn't mean that you know how to draw everything and anything all the time. It's just not possible. There are always going to be things that we don't know how to do. It's kind of like expecting a foot surgeon to know how to perform brain surgery. It's just not, it's not going to happen. They're both doctors. They both studied medicine for many years, but they're not going to know how to work on different parts if they've not physically done it if that makes sense. So just because you can draw a landscape or just because you can draw an animal does not mean that you can draw accurately from a reference or you know exactly how to draw a character from your own head. Art is all about refining your skills and getting experience and practice, practice, practice. And for most of us, we're always going to be practicing something new and learning something new and that is totally normal. For me, I've never really practiced or got much experience with creating my own characters um, and every time that I attempt to on my channel this is what I get. I have not been practicing characters or their anatomy for even a full year yet. It's just not something that ever really interested me. I was perfectly content up until last year with just making fan art, digital art um, and creating realistic pieces of digital art and then last year this all kind of became my career and I felt that it was necessary for me to learn more outside of my comfort zone. So let's go back to April of 2017. I feel with my digital art, um, I've kind of developed somewhat of a style with it, but in regards to character design, that was something I really wanted to work on, just creating my own original styles with characters. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I was happy with it at the time, but no. That video was one of the very first sponsored videos that I ever did. I was very excited. Skillshare sponsored me at the time and I was just really, really excited because they have like 17,000, more than 17,000 classes. And I found this one particular class by Gabrielle Brinkley, who's an incredible artist, where she did a character design class. And I loved it so much that I actually retake the class every few months just to kind of refresh but I'm happy with my progress. I actually retook the class this past week because Skillshare is once again sponsoring this video um, and I was feeling really nostalgic because it's the last sponsored video they're doing with me in a series of sponsored videos. Um, and I thought it would be fun to go back to my roots to one of the first videos I ever did with them and retake this class to kind of just see my improvement from basically almost a year ago. It was like April of 2017. Um, so yeah, follow along, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's go. So I liked this class in particular because it came with worksheets and examples, which being someone who is very hands-on and I learn by doing things, I feel it's really, really helpful. Um, and this time, instead of actually just doing my best to copy what she did, I've since then discovered my favourite ways of kind of drawing facial features from studying other artists' work, and I try my best to kind of apply it to my own in my own different way. Um, I don't think I'm quite yet sort of there yet, developing my own character style and especially not, you know, I, I still have a long way to go with it, but I'm definitely getting there. Um, I'm practicing and I've not even been doing it for a year yet and I haven't really been uh, focusing as much on it as I probably could. Um, I do highly recommend this class to you though, if you're, you know, if you're new to character design in general, it's honestly been a godsend for me. You know, I, don't have a I didn't have a clue where to start, so then being able to draw something somewhat decent from this class, I just found it really great. And I know that because it's the new year, we're all trying to achieve resolutions and, you know, character designing is something that I hoped I'd work more on last year. I ended up not really doing too much of it, but this year I am determined and I've taken loads of other classes like this, even if character design isn't sort of up your street. I've taken like watercolour tutorials and classes, um, concept art, character art tutorials, they have tons of classes from professionals on there and they're very, very quick and concise, which is why I like them. So, you know, being someone who never went to art school, I really find their classes helpful. So definitely do check out Skillshare. Uh, I even saved some business and photography classes as well because they have 
so many different categories and there's so much that I want to learn. They gave me a link if you'd like to check them out. Their classes are all available, over 17,000 for only 99 cents for three months. Um, this is only going on until the 15th of February. It was supposed to end in January the 31st, but they've extended it. So you have a little bit longer to take advantage if you want to. So if you are looking to improve your art this year, do take advantage while you can. If anyone's interested, by the way, in what pencils I'm using, I'll leave a link to them in the description, but they're basically just Pentel Graph Gear mechanical style pencils, if that helps. Now, I definitely feel I still have to work on certain facial features and kind of getting the proportions of the face right. Um, something I really do need to work on is kind of bodily proportions, which I have been sort of behind the scenes working on briefly myself. And it's definitely a work in progress. It's so different to anything else that I've worked on in the past. But overall, I am honestly really, really, you know, pleased with the progress that I have made. Even if it's not perfect, I definitely feel that uh, I'm getting somewhere with it. Now, I would just like to kind of give a bit of a pep talk here. Definitely do keep practicing with your work. If there is something that you really want to get better at, even if you think it looks bad now or even if you know it's something you hope to get better on in the future the only way you are going to get better is if you practice you know reading a book is is going to help you somewhat but following along and practicing yourself is what's really gonna get you where you want to be and I know that I'm still not where I want to be with this kind of thing but I can feel and see that I am slowly getting there and that is the main thing and it's very encouraging i do recommend often you know doing redrawing old work that you've made so you can kind of see your progress it's very encouraging when you you look back on your old work say from six months ago from a year ago and see the progress that you've made it's so important for your progress and your growth as an artist so definitely do try that um if you are interested, by the way, in learning about digital art or watercolours, I actually have two classes that I myself have made on Skillshare. One is for digital drawing and then the other is for watercolours, which is a brand new class that I actually just published on there this week. So do check that out. But yes, overall, I'm really happy with this. I would love to hear your opinion on it. And if you have done a progression uh, series, do feel free to tag me on it on Instagram. I'd love to see them and yeah overall I'm really really happy I love this class so much and the worksheets she provides and I'm just going to keep taking it and taking it until I'm finally at a point where I feel happy with my own progression so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and yeah let me know what you think Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think of the progress? I mean, I still have a long way to go, but I'm very, very happy within kind of the span of maybe 10, nine, 10 months, I was able to make that kind of progress. And I think it just goes to show that it's very important that you keep on working, keep on striving and practicing. Super cliche, I know, but you know, it's proven with time and practice, you can improve. Art is something that you can definitely refine your skills in. You have to remember that you're not always going to know how to, do, how to do everything. But if you want to learn something, the best way to learn it is to practice. And if you're interested, I have a digital art class and a watercolour class up on Skillshare as well. You just have to search my name and you should find it on there. So if you're interested in taking those, definitely do because I covered a lot in those classes and 
I just really enjoy making them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.